In this video segment, we're going to take a look at some of the most common and damaging forms of security threats to e-commerce sites. Malicious code is among the most common and damaging threats to the security of e-commerce sites. Viruses, worms, Trojan horses, and bot networks all pose threats to a system's integrity and continued operation. In fact, these types of malicious code can change how a system functions or alter documents created on that system. A reliable firewall and internet security software suite are both necessary to help lessen the threat posed by malicious computer code. Potentially unwanted programs can also pose serious problems for e-commerce sites. These types of threats include spyware, adware, and malware. Without proper up-to-date online security software, malicious programs can be installed on your computer or computer network without your knowledge and disrupt your computer and your website. What has become known as phishing can be defined as any deceptive online attempt by a third party to obtain confidential information for financial gain. Phishing scams often come in the form of unsolicited email offers or phone calls that ask for personal or business-related data or account numbers. Be careful never to share any confidential personal information unless you're able to verify the identity of whoever's on the other end of the exchange. Hacking and cyber vandalism can take many forms, but they amount to the intentional disruption, damage, or destruction of an e-commerce site. Hackers are difficult to guard against, and their efforts are often random and unpredictable. So vigilant monitoring of your site is essential to minimize any potential loss that may result. The possibility of credit card fraud or theft is among the primary concerns cited by potential online consumers for not making purchases or doing other business online. Since most online business is paid for by credit or debit card, consumers may fear that if they enter this information on an e-commerce site, it will fall into the wrong hands. In fact, the most common cause of credit card fraud is a lost or stolen card that you, that's used by someone else. However, identity theft is a serious issue. Most cases of stolen identity occur when criminals use false identities to apply for credit cards or when employees of a business copy and use customers' credit card numbers or other private or personal information. Online safeguards are available to help customers feel more at ease when they're, not, uh, when they're on a particular site. Two common safeguards include establishing a secure website address and third-party secure verification for online transactions. Denial of service, or DOS, attacks and distributed denial of service, or DDOS, attacks are brought about when hackers flood a website with useless traffic in an effort to overwhelm the network. These types of security threats can cause a network to shut down and damage a site's reputation and customer relationships. Hackers are also to blame for additional security threats known as spoofing and sniffing. Spoofing occurs when hackers attempt to hide their true identities or misrepresent themselves by using fake email addresses or masquerading as someone else. Spoofing can also involve redirecting a web link to an address different from the intended one, with the fake site masquerading as the customer's intended destination. Sniffing is a type of eavesdropping program that monitors information traveling over a network allowing hackers to steal uh, proprietary information from anywhere on a network, including email messages, company files, and confidential reports. The threat of sniffing is that confidential or personal information will be made public. Again, the simplest safeguard against these types of threats is vigilant monitoring. Now, although the bulk of internet security efforts are focused on keeping outsiders out, the biggest threat to the integrity of an e-commerce site may come from employees who have access to sensitive information and procedures. When employee disrupts a site's operations, this is referred to as an insider job. Other internal threats include a poorly designed server and client software. The increase in complexity and size of software programs has contributed to an increase in flaws or vulnerabilities that can be taken advantage of by hackers. All the issues we've mentioned in this segment have also infiltrated social networks malicious code, phishing, data breaches, identity theft, and other threats. In addition, the emergence of mobile platforms and storage of data in the cloud have brought about new security concerns. The mobile platform has become an increasingly inviting target for hackers and cyber criminals. 
It faces all the same risks as other internet devices, as well as new risks associated with wireless network security. Another emerging issue is how to safeguard data in the cloud or on external servers operated and monitored by third parties. Cloud security is likely to become an increasing concern as devices, identities, and data all become more intertwined and scattered on various servers and networks.